What's going on everybody? I have a new toy to share with you that's going to pair up well with my 100 amp hour Power Queen lithium battery. And that is this 500 amp battery monitor. So when you run a lithium iron phosphate battery, you can't really use voltage to determine the remaining capacity of that battery. The discharge curve is just too flat. Once that battery hits 12 volts or so, it's gonna drop off pretty much to zero. So you really need to use a different way to monitor the battery. That is where this guy comes into play. So this is a shunt style battery monitor and this is good like I said up to 500 amps and what this is going to do is this is going to go in between your ground circuit for your battery so I have my ground lead here all of my current is going to go through this and it's going to measure all that current as it goes through it and display it on this handy little monitor here what we're going to do is quickly set it up here on the bow of the boat and I'm going to run my ground leads to the shunt itself we're going to hook up the battery monitor and I'm going to show you how this thing works all right so first thing we're going to do is hook up this negative lead. And this is going to go to my shunt, like so. And on the other side, I'm going to go here. This goes to the battery on the B minus side. And I'm just, again, just temporarily running this so you can see how it works. So 100% of your current needs to go through this guy here. Charging, discharging, everything's got to go through this guy. Otherwise, it will not work. So we're going to take this other end that goes to the boat, hook it up here. Now my ground circuit is complete. So within the box, you'll find this little red wire here. And this is going to go from your battery plus to the shunt. There is a green box here where you're going to plug that guy in. So you got power and you got ground to your shunt. So we're going to put our main power lead on along with this little red lead. So now our battery is completely hooked up. We're going to take this little lead and feed it into one of these little terminals here that say B plus on them. We're going to snug that up. Now there's really only one step left wiring wise and that's to hook up the actual monitor itself which is by this cable and this is a 6 meter cable. Ooh, that's about 20 feet off the top of my head. We're gonna plug this guy in here. And we gotta peel this guy off so we can see it. And we're gonna plug in our display. So the next thing to do is to set up the quick display here. I'm gonna hold this gear and it's gonna show us these particular settings here. I put in my capacity at 103 amp hours. That is what I physically measured it at. Uh, full voltage, it's gonna be 13.3, 13.4, somewhere around there. I'm gonna fully charge it and double check that. And then I have the last two here is 10 volts because the BMS is going to go ahead and kick it out. Once we're done there, we'll back it up and you'll see that we're at 103 amp hours. And let's go ahead and turn on our graphs and we'll see how this responds. Okay, so we have it set up. We have our graphs running. We're pulling about 2.9 amps, which is really handy to see that on here. That's two fish finders, a live scope and a routing hub. Um, and this will show you your current voltage, your current watt consumption, estimated duration at that discharge rate, and your percent state of charge. Hopefully you found that helpful. You know, it's always a good idea to understand how much battery you have left, especially when you're running fish finders, you're getting ready for a tournament, whatever that might be. If you have any questions, post them down below and I'll get back to you. If you have any questions on this battery, check out this video right here.